Hello everyone, my name is Kaite and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this adorable ghost. It's an easy pattern and you can add a tea light candle inside and once you have your lights off, this is how they look like. So let's get to it and create something great. For this project I'm using number 4 medium weight yarn. You're also going to need your scissors tapestry needle for a tiny amount of sewing, some sort of glue and felt to add our little mouth and the eyes on. You're also going to need stuffing and a 4 millimeter crochet hook. Lastly, you're going to need some sort of a tea light candle. I bought this at my Dollar Tree and you can skip this if you don't want to add it inside. You can skip it and just add extra stuffing. I'm going to be using a different color yarn so you can see better. Let's start with the magic ring. We're going to wrap our yarn around our two fingers, crisscross it and hold it with your other finger. Go into the first circle and pick up a loop like so. Go into your working yarn and chain one. We need six single crochets worked into our magic ring. So here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. If you don't want to start with the magic ring, you can go ahead and work two chains and into your first chain work your six single crochets. Let's go ahead and pull on this tail and tighten our center. You're going to need some sort of a, a marker. I'm going to be using a piece of yarn. So we're going to place it right in front of our first single crochet. For round two, we're just going to work one single crochet around. So going into our first stitch, work one single crochet and repeat in the remaining of our single crochets. So that's two, three, four, five, and six. For round three, we're going to go ahead and remove our marker and place it in front of our stitch. We're going to work one single crochet into our first stitch right over here. And into the next stitch, work two single crochets. So here's one single crochet and two single crochet worked in the same stitch. Repeat. One single crochet and into the following stitch, work two single crochet. Again, work one single crochet and then in the last stitch you should have two single crochets. So here's one and here's two. At the end of round three you should have nine single crochets. Now for round four it's just going to be one single crochet around. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. This is how it looks like so far. It looks like a little hat. For round five, it's a repeat of round four. All we're doing is just working one single crochet one more time. So go ahead and work on your single crochets and I'll be right back to show you what to do next. For round six, what we're going to do is we're going to work two single crochets into each stitch around. So I'm going to work one single crochet and one more single crochet into the same stitch. And I'm going to continue and work two single crochets into each stitch around. At the end of this round, you should have 18 single crochets. So go ahead and work on your two single crochets into each stitch around and I'll meet you at the end of this round. For round seven and eight, all we're doing is we're working one single crochet 
into each stitch around. So I'm working my single crochets into each stitch around. So continue working your single crochets for two rows, for two rounds I should say, and I'll meet you at the end of round eight to show you what to do next. For round nine, we're going to work one single crochet into the next three stitches. Here's one, two, three, and into the fourth stitch, work an increase, which is two single crochets. Again, work one single crochet into the next three stitches. Here's two and three and into the following stitch work an increase which is two single crochets worked into the same stitch and that's the repeat so work one single crochet into the next three stitches and work two single crochets into the following stitch again work one single crochet into the next three stitches and then work one increase and you're left with two stitches and that's okay we're just going to work one single crochet into those two stitches and this is how it looks like so far at the end of round nine you should have 22 single crochets for round 10 what we're going to do is we're going to work a decrease round so the way it's going to work is we're going to work one single crochet and then work a decrease and the way I work my decrease is I go into the front loops only so I go into my one stitch and then go directly into the next stitch picking up my front loops only so now I have three loops on my hook yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two more so let's repeat, work one single crochet and then work one decrease. So I'm picking up my front loops only, yarning over, pulling through two, yarn over, pull through two. And repeat. Now I'm working my decrease. And like that, continue working and I'll meet you at the end of this round. So here I have one stitch left. I'm going to go ahead and work my single crochet. This is how it looks like and this is the little neck that we worked on. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and stuff our head a little bit if you want to. So let's go ahead and tighten our center a little bit and just leave that tail inside. So let's just go ahead and work on the face. So I'm just using little pieces of stuffing and just kind of pushing it to the side. Now you get to choose how much stuffing you want to add to the face, but I'm just going with small pieces here. I feel like it's easier to stuff. Now you don't need to stuff it too much. Just stuff it a little bit and we can always come back and stuff more. But this is just kind of gives you an idea of how it looks like. And this is how much I'm adding for now. And then I'll come back and add more. For round 11, we're going to work one single crochet into the next four stitches. So here's one, two, three, and four. And then work a decrease. So front loops only, picking up one and going into the next stitch, picking up the second one yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that's the repeat. So work one single crochet into the next four stitches. Here's three and four and work a decrease. Like so. And you're left with three stitches. So go ahead and work one single crochet into those stitches. This is how it looks like. For round number 12, what we're doing is we're just gonna be working two single crochets into each stitch around. 
So here's my second single crochet worked into the same stitch and I'm going to repeat. I'm going to work one single crochet and one more single crochet back into the same stitch. And that is the repeat working two single crochets into each stitch around. So continue working on your two single crochets for each stitch around and I'll meet you at the end of this round. At the end of round 12 you should have 26 single crochets. For rounds 13 all the way until round 20 you're just going to be working one single crochet into each stitch around and that's what I'll be doing. I'm going to be working one single crochet for each round until I get to round 21. So let's continue working and I will meet you at the end of round 20 to show you what to do next. This is how our ghost looks like so far. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stuff my head a little bit more. I'm just using small pieces again and just going in and trying to add that. Now remember don't add any to this cone right here. Just leave it the way it is. So here I feel like that's enough and I'm going to go ahead and stuff my body a little bit. Once again, I'm pushing my stuffing to the side, like so. I think that's enough. Could always add more if I need to. I think that's good enough. For round 21, we're going to be working on this little ruffly area right here at the bottom. And I'll show you how that's done. So. Let's remove our marker and put it back on. Into our first stitch, which is right over here, we're going to be working into the front loops only. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into our front loop, like so, work one single crochet, back into that same stitch, work a half double crochet, work one more half double crochet, and one single crochet. So into one stitch we worked a single crochet, two half double crochets, and one single crochet. Into the next stitch work one single crochet into the front loop only. Into the front loop only, into the next stitch work one single crochet. So we worked one single crochet, one single crochet, and into the following stitch front loops only, work one single crochet, two half double crochets, and one single crochet. And repeat, work one single crochet into the next two stitches, front loops only. Here's one, and here's one more. And to the following stitch, front loop only, work one single crochet, two half double crochets and one single crochet. This is how it looks like. So continue working and I'll meet you at the end of round 21 to show you what to do next. At the end you should have one stitch left. Go ahead and work one single crochet into the front loops only. So for round 22 we're going to be working into the back loops here, if you can see. I hope you can see that. And all we're doing is we're just going to be picking up our back loops and we're going to be working one single crochet into those back loops around. So I'm just picking them up and working my single crochet, like so. So continue working your single crochets around and I'll meet you at the end of round 22. So here I'm coming to the end and I have one stitch left right over here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to jump into this single crochet that we worked and we're going to be picking up both loops. 
So let's go ahead and work. I'm actually going to move my stitch marker so it's easier for me to see. I'm going to work one single crochet into this single crochet of the previous round. So here's one. Work one more single crochet into the next stitch. And now we're going to work a decrease. So picking up my front loops from both stitches and here's my decrease. And that's the repeat. Work one single crochet, one single crochet, and one decrease. And like that, continue working for row for round number 23, and I'll meet you at the end of this round. For our last round, what we're going to do is we're going to work one single crochet and one decrease. So here's my one single crochet and one decrease. And repeat, one single crochet and one decrease. Continue working and I'll meet you at the end of this round. So if you're going to add a tea light, what you can do is just go ahead and add it right in there. Mine has glitter and it's a little bit hard to add it, like so. It's a little bit tight because I didn't want the tea light to come out, the tea light candle. And that's how it looks like. And you can turn it on and at night it will show, like so. And then turn it off as you need to. So let's go ahead and fasten off really quickly. and. Going into the next stitch, slip stitch into that stitch and fasten off. You don't need a long tail for sewing, not unless you are not adding a tea light candle, then you should leave a long tail so you can close this gap together. So what I'm going to do is show you really quickly how I work on this tail. Using any of the stitches, I'm just going to go ahead and go one direction and then coming back the opposite direction like so, picking up any of the stitches I can. You don't need that many, like that. And then one more time, going back opposite direction. And here we go. Our tail is hidden, we can cut it. And this is how our ghost looks like so far. And that's how I work on my eyes, is I'm just trimming them and making them into the shape I feel like works the best for the ghost. And then once my sh eye shape is good, I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same one on the other eye. And once again, I'm just going to try and see how that looks like. And if I like it, I'm just going to go ahead and glue it on. So I'm just adding a little bit of glue and then just placing it back where I started from and just letting it dry like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to my eye, my second eye. Just adding a little bit. Like so. And then same thing to the mouth. To crochet the arms, we're going to slip knot to start, chain two, into the second chain from the hook, we're going to work four single crochets, all work into that chain. So here's two, three, and four. You can add a stitch marker if you want. I'm not, I'm just going to count my stitches this time around. What we're going to do for round two is work two single crochets into each stitch around. So here's one, two, again, one, 
two. Again, one single crochet, two single crochet, and one more time. One single crochet, and two single crochets. You should have eight single crochets in this round. This is how it looks like. For round three, we're just going to place one single crochet attaching these two sides together with the single crochet. So I'm just going to pick up one of my stitches on one side with both of the loops and then going to the opposite side and picking up my other stitch and working a single crochet like that. Then moving along, picking up the next sti two stitches and working a single crochet. And then one more time picking up this stitch and one on the back like so. And let's fasten off. Leave a long tail for sewing our arm onto our ghost and I'll show you how that's done. I already went ahead and I sewed this arm onto my ghost and I started right where the neckline is, right over here. So that's where I'm going to place mine on the side of my ghost, like so. So once I feel like it's even, I'm just going to place it there and leave it. I'm actually going to start sewing from the bottom, but I need to make sure that I pick up the stitch right over here, this one, once I'm finishing up. So to sew our arm, I'm just going to whip stitch it. So I'm picking up my single crochet from the ghost and a single crochet from the arm and just whip stitching it together. And then moving along the line and picking up the single crochet from the ghost and from the arm like, so, like that and just whip stitching it and repeating going up like that and I have one more left I'm just going to try to pick up the one from the neckline the single crochet from the neckline and one more on my arm and like that this is how it looks like I like to kind of fold it inwards so to hide our tail, what we're going to do is just insert your needle and bring it out from the back, anywhere, it doesn't matter. And just using one of the single crochets, I'm just going to go ahead and bring up a loop with my needle. So like that. Go ahead and insert your needle right into the loop and carefully tighten it like that. That's how it looks like. And then one more time, insert your needle back into your work. And using a different single crochet, go ahead and come out of it. And you can go ahead and cut your yarn. This is how it looks like. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. And this is how they look like in the dark.